three snaps again, you, you have a, you feel comfortable with moving somebody to that spot. I mean, it's the most important, you know, pass in, in the offense is getting a snap back. So um, the, the reps haven't really changed much. I mean, it's just guys are, are rotating in and out. We get a lot of pre-practice snaps. We get a lot of post-practice snaps, and, and then we get as many live reps with guys as we can. But we got to get the, you know, the guys are going to do it on Saturday. The most of the reps. I've had a lot of fans ask me about Kobe in particular. Yeah. Where is he at in this? Part? I mean, it seems like a lot to ask. Yeah. No. I mean, it's you know, I mean, obviously, you know, I think Kobe's doing a great job. Got here in in, in the spring and and has had that that summer and, and has done a good job in the weight room and here. And he's still just learning. You know, we got him bouncing back and forth between center and guard and learn as many positions as he can and uh, he's battling man I'm, I've been very happy with his with his uh, development and um, you know learning the offense I mean he's still he's still a pup you know so he's you know he's he's practicing with us up there he's back and forth between giving some reps to the to the to the defense and, and getting reps with us with the ones and twos um, and I've been very pleased with him so he's gonna play a lot of football here at Kentucky. Thank you. Do you have to make a change in center? Is, would you have full comfortable with Jagger just plugging in right there, right guard? Or? Yeah, I think I think Jag has all the confidence in the world to, if we had to to move over to guard and, and pick up where he did last year. You know, obviously we would probably you know if we if we did that and if it came to that, you know, hopefully we get Kenneth back here, mm -hmm. you know, and then he slides in at left and then Jag can pop over if we had to pop over to right guard. Um, but that that would be if we did it, that'd be the the, the move to do. But. Um, you know, right now we're just we're continuing to evaluate it, and and we can't. You know, I know it's two snaps, and we don't need any more. You know, but and Jack knows that. There's no like I told you guys earlier. Like there's nobody that feels worse than him. And I thought he responded very well in the second half, and and uh, played a played a good second half after after that. When you have this, when you have a center struggling with accuracy. Yeah. What are like the coaching points? Is it snap a thousand balls? Is it like a, is it a mental? Yeah, thing? I think you, I, you know if you look at like it's it's with Jag with where it's, it's it's when he's trying to reach and run fast to the left. Okay. There's a lot where his ball goes right. Like that's what happened on that first one. It was like a, it was a lake of protection, so he's going left and snapped it kind of weird to the right. That that's kind of his miss. I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen him the, the second one. I don't think I've ever seen him do it. You know, it's always been to the right and pulling Deb to the right. Um, but the second one was just a rocket over the head. And, I, you know, you watch the film, he's trying to reach the nose, and just butt pops up, and he just he let it fly on. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's more, it's mental. To me, when I played, and, and not saying that I was played at any level like Jag, but it was like, I, I, I just, I had to, like, it always drove me nuts when people were telling me how to snap. I was like, all right, I'll fix it. Just let me fix it. Like, let me, like so that's kind of the, it's like, Jag, you know, you know you messed up. You, you can feel it when you do it, right? So we just got to get back in the rhythm. And, like my kid's snapping, he's a fifth grader right now at West Jess, so he's snapping. So we practice under the right eye, straight through, elbow to the growing. I mean, so it's, that's all my coaching points right now. Too, so. <laughs> is, that, is that kind of akin to, you know, when they say a receiver tried to run before? Exactly. Like you watch Jag, like I tell you, like Jag hits the turbo. Jag is so athletic. Like he is so, like he tries to get out so fast. And he's like, and that's what he does. He tries to just hit, I always call it the turbo button. He just, and I'm like, dude, slow down. Like, snap first, and then you are athletic enough to get your block done. And that's where he gets in trouble when he gets in front of his snap. And it just is exactly what you said. Like, the, you got to snap first and then step. And uh, he sometimes gets in front of it a little bit. How is it having someone like Devin Lear in the backfield just – even if there is a missed assignment, just kind of being able to make plays down the field. Dude, he's a he's an absolute stud for us. Like, you know, even when you know the the, the when we got the pressure, he, he dumped it off to to, to uh, Ray for the touchdown. I mean, like that, like he's just a playmaker, man. He does he just dusts himself off and he and he gets up and does it again. And he just he's very en encouraging to the O line. I mean, he doesn't, you know, he, he he's not he's not belittling them or anything like that. Like he is he is smooth out there. He's calm out there. It, and it just makes the whole offense feel good, um, you know. Seeing him, seeing our leader, you know, get up, dust himself off, be like, "Let's go, guys! All right, let's go!" and make plays. So I have a lot, lot of confidence in him. All right, folks. Thank you very much. Yeah.